Hello, my name is Henry Ford, and I was born on July the 30th, 1863, in Greenfield Township in Michigan, USA. When I was a teenager, my father gave me a pocket watch. The watch fascinated me, and I began disassembling and reassembling my and many of my friends' watches. This began my career as a mechanic. I had lots of jobs and experience, but I'm most famous for founding the Ford Motor Company, which began with my invention of the Model T Ford. The Model T Ford revolutionized transportation by providing a cheap, reliable vehicle that anyone could use. Until the Model T was introduced on October 1st, 1908, cars were reserved for the very rich, and most Americans lived their entire lives within 50 miles of their home. But by 1918, almost half the cars in America were Model Ts, and by 1927, 15,007,034 had been sold. The Model T was virtually indestructible, as it was the only option for most people to get around, whatever the weather. But not just with the car revolutionary, but the ingenious method used to make the Model T was to affect industry for eternity. This method was the production line. The production line was a constantly moving conveyor belt that passed individual workstations. Workers were assigned a job at a particular stage in production and did that job constantly. For example, the first worker in the line would place the wheels on the belt, the next worker would put in the bolts, the next worker would place the nuts, the next would screw them on, the next would tighten them, and so on. This made production quicker, easier, and more cost-effective. It also opened up many jobs for workers. As for the production line to work, there had to be a large workforce. The production line meant that many workers who could not get a job because of shortage of slots and constant turnovers could get a job and keep it. Also, Henry Ford's introduction of the $5 working day, which is $110 today, meant that the best and most skilled workers flocked to his factories and stayed there. Not only did they get the best pay, but the best hours, as they only worked a 48-hour week, and later only 40 hours. This meant that they had the whole weekend off to spend with their families. Life was good and money was plentiful.